Yo, what's good, everybody? We got another Beers with Barton. It is Monday, August 3rd. Wow, just like that, it's August. Two weeks from today, school starts. Whatever school's gonna look like, at least to start the year. Um, it's full remote, uh, so not even going in one day a week. So uh, definitely planning for a different school year this year. But um, anywho's, it is Monday. As you'll notice, I do not have my Beers with Barton shirt on because I haven't been upstairs basically all day. Um, last week, we were at the beach, Bald Head Island, our first time. Amazing experience. Uh, you drive up to um, a little ferry, basically. You park your car, you unload your stuff. They take it on trams. They go over on the ferry, you go over on the ferry, it's about a 20 minute, 25 minute ride, and then a tram picks you up, loads your stuff up, and drops you off at your house. And then you have a golf cart for the week, and you're just kind of riding around. So <clears throat> I worked for the uh, first couple days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I uh, took Thursday, Friday off. I wish I would have taken the whole week um, to be able to do a little bit more. But a little bit different experience as a lot of stuff was closed. Restaurants, bars, um, all that stuff, but... Beautiful, beautiful island. Uh, we're thankful our friends, the Kanazbis, invited us out there. Um, they go with a friend every year. They took Michaela with them, and then uh, Jess's parents, and obviously Jess and I, we got a little two bedroom condo that we stayed at for the week. So Michaela got to hang with her friend and experience some time alone. Um, and then she stayed with us a couple nights too. So it was a good experience. Michaela got to surf a couple times, which was cool. I missed the first one I was working, but they were able to do another session on Saturday morning. So we got back yesterday and uh, boy, it's back to reality. Um, you know, back to work, catching up on emails and just getting back into it. So spent yesterday doing some laundry, cleaning the house, unpacking. Um, we did hit the pool for a couple hours and I was able to grab dinner with uh, my cousin Ollie and Mitchell and um, her husband Mitchell and yeah, so try to make the most of it. Uh, Michaela's doing an art class this week with Grandma. Um, well, not with Grandma. I'm at a place Grandma found down the way. So she's spending this week doing that. And uh, next Monday, a week from today, which reminds me I need to text my mother. My mom will be coming from California for about 12 days. Um, really looking forward to that. Haven't seen her in, um, I want to say, over a year. Um, can't even actually remember the last time I've seen her. It could be a year and a half last year when she came in May. So a year plus. <sighs> Normally she comes at Mother's Day and obviously we pushed it out. Um, you know, we decided it was best with COVID to wait. And, uh, but mom says she's coming. She'll be here. So anyways, that's what's been going on with the Bartons. It's been great. Um, a lot of cool experiences. Um, tonight Michaela's actually... At dance, uh, they're dancing outside in the parking lot, but uh, she's getting some classes to kind of get back into it as competition starts again. Um, you know, she's back on the competition team. She actually made the junior team. Um, it goes like intro, this next one, and then juniors. And she skipped from intro to the junior. She did the intro one for, I think, two years. And I think she's right on the cusp last year. I think they were ready to move her up, which is the way the teams worked. Uh, she kind of was in that intro, and she won that star dancer, which was great. Good year for her. She really learned a lot, and then she jumped basically two spots up to the junior. So she'll be dancing with a lot of 10, 11, 12-year-olds, I believe. Um, I think the age group's 9 to 12 or 10 to 12. I'm not really sure the age group. Maybe it's 9 to 11. But uh, she's excited. She's getting into it. So thought we'd do a little beer review. And uh, everybody knows if you've been watching these, I like Oktoberfest, Sam Adams, my favorite beer, one of my favorite beers. I drink it year round, but it, I haven't seen it yet. I think it's just come out, but I did find a little something, something. August 2nd, yesterday, I got a Shiner Oktoberfest, dun, dun, dun. And I actually do not even know if I've ever had this. I've, uh, they have a Shiner Bock, which is a great beer. Um, this is a Mars, Marzen style beer. Boatsel Brewery in Shiner, Texas. I think that's how you say it. But anyways, I'm excited about this. I, like I said, I drink these. Um, I don't know what the APV is because I didn't do any research. And it doesn't say it on... Oh, 5.7? Drinks like a 5.6. Pumpkin beers. Yeah, I get it. Maybe need to wait till September or so. I, I drink them year-round too. 
because I love them. But it feels it feels right in any time September. Oktoberfest, anytime. Sam Adams Oktoberfest, 365. We're gonna see what this one's all about. It's a seasonal, of course. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Pours nice and you can almost smell the caramel, the toasted, the toastiness. Oh yeah. Oh, foam tastes good. All right, well, let's see what this one's all about. I set it to 5.7, drinks like a 5.6. And man, I'm excited about this one. Uh, not only did I drink an Oktoberfest for the first time, I wouldn't say this year, because I probably had some earlier this year for sure, but first time summer. Looking forward to seeing what this one's all about. So hope everyone's having good weeks. Hope everyone's enjoying it. Cheers. Wow. It's pretty good. It's a little lighter than your typical Oktoberfest. It has good flavor. You can definitely taste the caramel, the malt. Um, it's definitely there. Uh, good color. Really good color, actually. Got the nice little bubblers so good beer glad i'm having it beers with barton it's august we're doing oktoberfest it's a little quiet in the house right now like i said michaela's at dance and uh potter was at doggy daycare what's up dude for the week that we were gone so he's been super tired last night excuse me yesterday afternoon we picked him up well just because i was at the pool he was pretty out of it last night we cleaned our sheets and uh, he decided to jump up on Michaela's bed and on our bed, and he peed on the beds. He has never done that before. I think he was extremely mad that we left. So something Chandler did, and Mommy was saying what a good boy you were, and you went and did that, and I had to do an extra load of laundry and change the sheets twice last night. So I don't know what you're doing, bud, but don't do it again. All right, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Beers with Barton. NHL hockey's back, MLS soccer's back, baseball's trying to come back, there's a lot of coronavirus, basketball's back, I'm a little indifferent towards the NBA, but uh, you know, I'll catch a little bit here and there, so cheers to sports, hopefully we get football, it's fantasy time, hopefully we get that soon, Shiner Oktoberfest, 5-7, drinks like a 5-6, cheers. All right, everybody, until next time, deuces, deuces again. <laughs>